Hey everybody, uh, so today I want to show you a Code Wars challenge. Um, I really like doing Code Wars. Uh, I try to post a video every once in a while doing them. Um, it, it helps me uh, keep up with my uh, programming skills. I focus on a couple different languages, uh, Python being one of them. Uh, the Go language, which is uh, brand new to me. I've been trying to teach myself that language uh, for a little bit now. And then also SQL. Um, so this is the challenge. I've already done it. This is a very basic one. I, I just picked it up late last night and, and, um, and did it. Uh, but I want to jump over here and show you kind of the, um, just the website for Code Wars. Um, and, uh, when you come out here, uh, just a, a tip or, or something that I like to do is I'll sort this by most completed and then, um, Everything else I'll just leave as is, and then down here I'll choose a difficulty. Uh, depending on like if I'm busy or if I just want to do something fast, I may do an easier difficulty. And easier is the higher you go. The lower you go, the more complicated those problems are going to be. And the you know bigger the challenge is. Um, there's a whole bunch of different languages you can do stuff in, so I definitely recommend checking this out if you're... If you like challenges, but also if you're you're learning to code and just want more hours coding, this might be a good option uh, for you. So, anyways, um, back over in the um, the uh, Jupyter notebook, uh, what we're trying to do here is descending orders. Uh, so, as an example, we've got one, two, three, four, and what we want to do is four, three, two, one. So we want to go from highest to lowest. Um, so I've got this function here. So we've got this num variable, and then we're using the sorted uh, function. We're going to pass in a list, and this is a list comprehension. And then uh, in this, this sorted function, we're going to say reverse equals true, which is going to reverse that list. Uh, to show you a list comprehension, down here I've got one, two, three, and then what we're going to do is do, um, and, and, what a, and if you're familiar with for loops, they work in the same way. They're just a more concise, cleaner, one-line solution to for loops. Uh, so we've got um, uh, char ver, uh, for char in string num, print that out, it's one, two, three, it separates, first it turns that num, this one, into a string, and then it just loops through and get, returns us a list. Uh, so down here, or sorry, down here, uh, this would be the exact same thing. So when we run that, you can see we get the exact same output, but this is a for loop instead. All right, so back up here, um, this whole function will return the list but reverse it. So that's what this here is doing. So if I run that code again, uh, you can see one, two, three, four. It goes through this, and then the output is uh, reversed four, three, two, one. Now what we want to do in this challenge is return an, an integer. So we want to return it back um, as one whole number. So what I do from there is I join. Um, so if we just remove all of this, what we can do from here is join up um, that, uh, those numbers, the individual numbers into one string, or individual strings, I guess you could call them, uh, into one string, and then what we do from there is we can just do int and now it's a integer and so if we check the type of that you can see it's an, an integer so um, that's really it uh, it returns that um, variable uh, in reverse order or descending order and so down here if we run this you can see we get six five two one zero 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 so anyways, uh, that's all I wanted to share. It's a fun challenge, but I just want to point out that Code Wars has a lot of stuff out there. If you want to do more complicated things um, or start real simple, I would recommend if you're new to a language, start really basic and then move forward. They have like a um, levels um, or like your, 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 the level you're at. So like when you start in Code Wars, you're, you're on level eight and then... Uh, you get more points and you, you move um, uh, further down. So right now I'm on on um, level 5 and my next rank are Caillou 5. Um, 
and my next rank is four Caillou. So, anyways, um, yeah, check this out. This is a, a lot of fun, and if you want to follow me, go ahead. It's the BIM coordinator. Also, something I just want to share, just for uh, in case you guys are interested, and in, is. So this conference here, conference uh, or conf, uh, conf uh, 42, is doing um, a conference uh, right now, and there's a lot of awesome talks, especially if you're into Python, but something, one talk I would recommend is checking out this one um, by Tada. It uh, is going to be, he's going to be talking about programming uh, in the architecture industry and it'll be focused around Python. So I think if you're into Python and uh, AEC, I think you'll find that to be pretty interesting. I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot in it. But anyways, check that out. Uh, I'll put the link below um, in the description. So just click that, it'll take you out to this YouTube video. Uh, and then they have descriptions to like where you need to sign up and everything. But it's totally free. Um, the uh, to see like all the different stuff um, there's many many uh, uh, I think there's like 29 different talks um, so some it looked like some really good stuff so anyways thanks a lot guys for watching and I will see you in the next video